Well, one mum from New Zealand decided to share what her body looked like straight after giving birth, becoming an international sensation when she put unretouched pictures of her post-baby figure online every day for 14 weeks, and it attracted over 2 million views. And Julie Borsali joins me now live from Auckland. Uh, good morning, Julie. Good morning, Gibby. So who gave you this idea or how did you come up with this idea to do these pictures? To be really honest, I'm a, I'm a very qualified nutritionist and I actually specialise in the area of pre and postnatal nutrition. I'm actually eight weeks away from completing my doctorate. And after the birth of my first son, I really struggled. I struggled so much with the changes to my body, the pressure I felt uh, to get my body back, especially working in the industry. Uh, and that's on top of, of course, the fatigue and the hormone changes and, you know, the fact that I was a mum for the first time. And I, I thought to myself, look, if I struggle and I've got a lot of knowledge in the area, surely other mums must struggle as well. And so after the birth of my second son earlier this year, that's, that's why I did it. I thought, look, if I, if I could help one mum just feel a little bit better about themselves, given the fact that, you know, we've just had a baby, uh, then, then it would it would make a difference, and you know I I certainly didn't expect the the viral mania that's that's occurred. I when I when I wrote the blog that that detailed the the 14 weeks, I sort of pressed send, and I was actually going out to teach a class that evening, so I went out and taught a class, and it was actually in the morning I checked the blog to find that it had been viewed yeah over 200,000 times just overnight. Uh, and that, that was, yeah, that was completely took me by surprise. How do you feel about the people who are saying what you've done is putting people off having a baby? <laughs> well, look, I, I follow the research and, you know, there is scientific research, peer-reviewed journal articles, including the, uh, you know, the British Medical Journal, that, that states and, and shows you know, research saying that, you know, if women are prepared for some of the changes that will happen, it's going to stop the overwhelm that, that can occur when you think and feel, look, is it, is it only me? And, you know, so that in itself, to me, is, is enough evidence to say, well, look, actually, we should be sharing this and, you know, it is actually going to make a difference. Well, it does to me because I, lots of people went on and on about the size I was when I was pregnant and afterwards, and I found it debilitating and cruel. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah, it, it, and it hits at a time when you're incredibly vulnerable, you know, you're exhausted, uh, you know, you, you're trying to adjust to looking after this, you know, this tiny little human, and, you know, you're trying to find yourself again. And then to have that, you know, that overwhelming pressure on how you look, not actually focusing on how you feel or, you know, the massive changes that you've gone through as a woman. Yeah, really, really tough. And just, just lastly, uh, how did your husband take to all of this? What was his reaction to it all? <laughs> well, he, he was the one that, that took the photographs and, you know, he, he was really, you know, supportive of me the, the whole way. Um, you know, I couldn't do what I do without him. And, you know, he, like, he just thinks it's amazing, the, the response. Um, and, you know, f you know, for him as a dad, you know, there's, there's big changes for him as well. But, you know, being open about some of this is, you know, that, that's where it's at. So, yeah. Great to talk to you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much.